Hey everybody, so in this quick video, I'm going to talk about pre-preparation for exceptional accuracy at the piano. And it's really just this one quick idea that I hope will help you to greatly increase your accuracy at the piano, of course. And on this channel, I hope to share with you strategies, methods, insights, etc., often of my own creation that I hope will help you in your piano playing, hopefully other areas of your life as well. But in this case, I really got this idea not from myself, but from a great Spanish pianist pedagogue named Alberto Jonas, and I believe it was from his Master School of Piano Playing and Virtuosity, which is just this whole enormous topic, even in and of itself. But it's really just this idea of being on the notes or on the keys before you literally play. And you might think it's impossible much of the time, but unless it's a piece like La Campanella, where you're moving back and forth pretty much with lightning speed the entire time, even in situations where it seems nearly impossible, there is enough time to pre-prepare. So for instance, so a lot of the time I finish playing and then I just kind of teleport my hands over. And by teleport, I mean, I'm basically just moving in a straight line over to where the next chords or notes or octaves or whatever I'm supposed to play are located. Now, the question of where exactly to look and how exactly do you find the position so quickly, I, I would cover I, probably in another video. But in this case, I mean, it might be a virtuosic piece that you're playing. It may be a slower or medium piece that you're playing. You might be a beginner. And even then, let's, let's assume the speed is much, much slower. Okay, so if I... Find it. Well, now I'm not going to miss because I'm already on the key. So all I do is just play up from the key, which I think is a really good technical idea anyway. So let's say it's really slow. And I find the keys. Now I'm not going to miss as long as I don't do this like enormous motion. I just, I just play from the key. Right? Find the keys. And as long as you find it in time, hopefully you can find it in time, but as long as you're on the, the keys before you mean to play, and you pretty much just release upward from the key, then you won't miss. Right, you just, just move right over. And yeah, even in times when it seems blazingly fast, it's really just a matter, like for instance, if I play this G, and I wanna play this G over here, I just, I really need to look where I'm going, and then I'm here. Now, the moment I play this, I'm gonna move back to this G over here. Right, and so that produces, okay, that one wasn't G because I wasn't looking, but I'll show you here as well. So let's say I wanna to move to this G over here. Let's see if I can look where I'm going. It's kind of hard because I'm holding the phone, but let's see, okay. And then, yeah, so something like that. I might talk more about eye, move, eye movements and so on in another video, but experiment with this first. I do recommend kind of moving over in a laser straight line, even though you're relaxed. I don't recommend a big arc from above. That just will take more time. You just kind of like zoom right on over and you try to look where it is that you're going. And honestly, even if it's, well, it, honestly, I think it's equally useful for beginners or even total beginners. If you're playing a certain chord, let's say that you're playing this, or okay, let's do something simpler. Let's say that you're playing like this, okay, and then you want to not miss, I don't know, this. Well, play this. Make sure that your fingers are on the notes you mean to play and be like, okay, they are. Okay, now play them, right? You won't miss as long as you are already on the notes. I'm here, okay, I literally see my fingers on the notes. Okay, now I'm gonna play. Now you just gotta move your brain a little bit faster, right? I see my fingers on the notes, now play. Okay, play. I see my fingers are now play. Or you just say, see, play. And you'll become quicker and quicker at thinking these steps as you practice. All right, hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think. 
If you found this valuable, please like, subscribe, tell people about the channel, and looking forward to the next video.